Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's tutorial, I'll talk about cash purchase in SQL accounting system. Let's go to SQL purchase module, and this is the cash purchase. The difference between cash purchase and purchase invoice is when you issue, when you key in a purchase invoice, you need to separately go to supplier payment to meet the payment. So there is a two-step job. So, but when in purchase, cash purchase, you can actually key in the invoice and make the payment at the same place. So one time job. So it depends on you whether you want to key in under purchase invoice or cash purchase. There's no difference. Okay. Now let's go to cash purchase. Same as other transactions. Once you go into cash purchase, there is a listing of all the cash purchase that you have entered before. So all the columns, first row is empty is because for you to do searching. Let's say you want to search for a purchase number, five, so it will search for you. You cannot remember the number, you can use any of the field to do the searching. Example, you want to search for a purchase, cash purchase for direction, so you get the purchase, cash purchase up. Okay. So if you want to use other criteria to search, just right click any column title, field chooser, drag any field that you want to use. Example, fax, just drag, drop. Okay, if you don't want, just drag, put it back, or just right click at the column title, right click, remove this column. So at the most left column title, there is a small button with multiple lines, click on it. So you can actually make use of this to do the call out the field or untick to make it disappear. To create cash purchase, just click at the new cash purchase. So select the supplier. Just type the M. So all the supplier with the character M will come out. So just in case when you M nothing come out, it's because your searching criteria or focus is at company name two because it's highlighted over here. So you don't want that, you want it to use company name, just clear it off. Just click on the tab key on the keyboard tab, you will move to currency tab, go to code tab again, go to company name, and you can make use of it. So that's why in SQL, you do not require to memorize any item code, supplier code, customer code, or account code. Just the name or description will do. That's why it same goes to item. Okay, just type the name it will appear then put in the quantity you purchase is this the unit price which you maintain under maintain item is correct if not then you can change it so any column that you don't want right click remove the column the purchase cash purchase number will be here you can actually remove it or manually replace it with the actual cash purchase from your supplier because every supplier will have different set of one number so they come up automatically you can amend agent and terms as well yeah. so that's why the only difference is at the bottom here because over here you can actually key in the payment so this cash purchase is actually 240 so what you want to pay with so you pay by your bank or cash so let's say it's a bank you pay by a check then what is the check number okay is it related to any project and things like that if you maintain project so is there any bank charges or if you don't have then just type in the amount you can do partially payment over here also so let's say you do a partially payment over here then you need to go back to the supplier payment to make the payment for the balance so save and here you are you have the cash purchase now if you try to delete the cash purchase, the system will tell you the document has been knocked off because you, there is a payment information at the bottom. So what you need to do is you need to edit it, remove the information at the bottom, save it, then only you can delete. Get it? So because when you have a payment, there is a link 
that between cash purchase and also supply payment. So with this link, you are not able to delete this transaction. So that's why you need to remove the payment first, then only the cash purchase can be deleted. The same idea goes to customer side when you do a cash sales. Okay, so I'll explain cash sales in a future tutorial. You do not need to print out cash purchase because same things, purchase is supplier will give you the invoice to you. Okay, so this is only a accounting entry for you. If you want to know the double entry, same things. Just go to here and the empty space, right click, show double entry. Okay. So over here, you can see that for this cash purchase, actually at the bottom, there's no payment. So you can actually go back to supplier payment to make payment to this cash purchase. Well, um, that's all for cash purchase in SQL accounting system. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.